<laughs> and I also give him a key to Gritz's room. <laughs> Do you hand it like to his nub? Nub side? Or? I give it to the nub side. <laughs> Welcome to Season 2, Episode 34 of Bards and Nobles, the podcast where we play Dungeons and Dragons, drink beer, and <laughs> laugh at all our problems in a basement or something. I don't know. Um, <laughs> it's definitely problems. a basement. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it is a basement. Um, but we prettied it up. It looks it looks all right in here. Yeah, boxes are real helping. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Brian the Dungeon Master. I'll be leading us on an adventure tonight, maybe. Um, and tonight I'm joined by whoever A fellow else. adventurer who is going to partake in this adventure being led on, named Aaron Williams, playing Baron, Baron Von Beauregard the Sixth, the Human Ranger. I love how you almost fucked up your own name. No, man, I didn't. <sighs> that is in your name. imagination. Nope. Yep. We're probably chatty tonight. Yeah, it's because we're drinking champagne. Beer. That's <laughs> we're getting champagne, champagne of beer. Champagne. <laughs> Papa Shagani. You did that last episode. <laughs> God damn it. No, I did keep it last episode. <laughs> oh, you right. My bad, bro. Charles. <laughs> Let's continue this train wreck, please. Charles Nelson <laughs> playing Max Stormblade, the human paladin. Stormcock! <laughs> <laughs> I'm Anthony Boyd, and I'm filling my character sheet out in pen. <laughs> We're all making mistakes That's tonight. How uh, he is, he'll die. <laughs> uh, Trey O'Neill playing Flint McShrimpton. I'm eating some corn and potato chowder. If you'd like to hear more about that, become a patron and listen to oh the patron wow. exclusive no. episode. Look, I'll tell you right now, that corn chowder looks fucking delicious. Yeah, if you'd like to hear more about it, become a patron. <laughs> yeah. One you more, got one more saying, person. I'm not saying any more. You have to become a patron to find out about this amazing potato... Corn, Who else do we have with is. us tonight? <laughs> <laughs> um, Andrew Dayton. I will be playing Elon Musket, the Warforged gunsmith. And surprisingly, this peach sparkling cider is actually really good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. F- and I. Ralph. Ralph. <laughs> we, we need to work on your intro, bro. All right, guys. Congratulations. Right. Uh, That's hands down Ralph, the worst intro Ralph, we've ever had. <laughs> Look, Ross, Maybe. <laughs> Some asshole whispered on his. Jury's still out on that one. <laughs> Maybe Let's go it. ahead and get a recap so we can actually get some game oh, in tonight. Fuck, Give it to us, Andronius. All right. So I rolled a three. I know nope. it's super high. Calm down, guys. Um, I'm super high. So. <laughs> you're, what? Why didn't you share? Just go, bro. Nope. Keep going. <laughs> All righty. So uh, last episode, uh, we finished up burning the Centaur Village to the ground, apparently. Um, we gathered our shit and made our way back to Sedlio, uh, in which we engaged in a shopping montage slash uh, Baron got some mail, sent some mail. Um, and we were told by the fuck is his name the chain fucking viscous or whatever the fuck his name is oh the high inquisitor viscous fuck that guy this is um <laughs> told us we had five days <laughs> to get our shit together um and then we were supposed to report the king uh for our next assignment um our normal guy that we deal with uh norik i remember his name because he's fucking cool he's a cool guy he, he's good people i think i think this is I feel like he's really on board. track yeah yeah, snore it, track. God damn, oh. shut up. Nobody yeah. gets it. It's too obscure. No. Continue, Aww. Andrew. You have to no. explain it. It's, it's destroyed. Anyway, so uh, Norik has apparently gone for an indeterminate amount of time, which personally, as Elon, I feel like that's a plot point. Anyway, so we're supposed to report to the king for some <laughs> extra mission stuff from Vissus and the king. Um, we've been kind of just dicking around for the last five days, and now we're probably going to report to the king unless we have some of us have been gathering intel. All right, so yeah, the camera is panning in on the Dawn Guard Guild Hall, guys. (laughs) Get in my theater of mind, all right? This is where we're at. The camera is looking at, (laughs) I see a camera. All right, no, it's not a okay. <laughs> At the Dawn Guard Guild Hall, we'll say that Baron was the last one to enter. It's and like he a ghost. Is getting um, drunk. And everyone yeah, else is, is already there. 
Baron, on your way in, you did notice uh, an, an army of cats outside with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, make no oh, mention, yeah. I make no mention of it. Um, what about the army of Max Pussy? apparently has brought home some guests. Um, and this will be, we'll say this is the day or night before you guys have to go and meet with the king in case as you guys want to do I'm, anything else. As nice. I'm pouring myself a wine, I notice these guests and I say, Max, who do we have here? Uh... I've been asking around about uh, trying to track down what happened, who's responsible for what happens in my village. And I, I met these travelers who um, have experienced the same thing in their village. Mm. And they've asked me for help. And so what was, happened to your village? Oh, real quick. I forgot. What did you forget? Um, Kibe met with Horny Roth- Mothchild. Oh, yeah. And we owe him favors now. He All met right. with a Continue. horny moth child. Yeah. Are we recapping? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that part. The it's intro part that lasts All right. forever. <laughs> Look, we're just kind of, yeah. Back to go. Max. So Let's go, Max. Flashback. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to your village? So my village was uh, burned down supposedly by followers of the evil dragon Tiamat. Supposedly? You don't remember this? Well, I wasn't there when it happened. I just came back and saw the aftermath. Mm. Was it a dragon or like actual followers? Are you there to ask Perhaps this? Perhaps both. I don't. I mean, we're all back we're at the headquarters, aren't we? Yeah, I, I, everyone's, yeah, everyone's there. there together. Yeah, I hear this here. tragedy. Yeah, and I pour Max a glass and okay. I offer it to him of that good shit. I also hear this tragedy. Of the good, good. Okay, thank you, sir. Yeah, and I yeah, say, yeah. Max, I got this cat for you out in the alley, <laughs> and I hand him one of the cats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's um, a it's just a regular house sized tabby cat. I, I pet it a little Tabby's bit. Boys? I'm like, uh, thanks, I don't know, eBay, but uh, I don't. <laughs> Spoiler: really need the only cat right now. Uh, <laughs> why, why don't I uh, just release this back outside the house? <laughs> Would that be okay? That is How insulting. Does Max not like cats? <laughs> um, I. Just, I mean, I understand if you didn't like dogs, but I mean, if you want, it could be dinner. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to do that, Brian. <laughs> so Rembane, the uh, bald human, at this point, they've taken down their hoods and they've gotten comfortable. Um, and he says, yes, um, although we didn't see a dragon, our, our village, too, was ransacked, uh, just like Max's. By these Tiamatians. <laughs> um, I'm not sure what that is, but the Dreadclaw Brotherhood, I know to be responsible mm. for the attack on... My village. Can I know least. anything about these dread claws? <laughs> no, you can't. Sure. Give me a religion check. It is going to be 16. You know that they are a fanatical cult dedicated to the evil dragon Tiamat. What their ultimate goals are, you're unsure, but you know their methodologies include burning and raping and pillaging and and just all around hmm. destruction. Close when did us. this happen? Um Rembane speaks up. He's the, the the male of the group. He's like um this was this was just uh just a month ago. Um we had seen uh the the chosen one on the uh the hollow vids um and at the man- mention of the chosen one you you get they they're talking about Max. That's what they call you. The Chosen. Um, yes, he is. Uh, By he whom? Is, why, Bahamut, of course. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the other two speak of They're like, yes, yes, he's, uh, he's, he's a champion amongst our people. Are you a follower of Bahamut as well? We are. We are. And you can, they all um, take out like a necklace that um, bears the symbol of Bahamut. Mm. And they show it. Um, and they say, yes, uh, Although Dragon's Maw is run by the five hordes, lately uh, the Dreadclaw Brotherhood has grown in, in notoriety and has won many followers to their side. And you're telling me that they've burned at minimum two villages, uh, Max's as well as your own? Um, not just ours, but um, anyone who doesn't fall in line with their beliefs. The king's people are under attack. Hmm. Well, what has uh, Max promised you fellows to keep you around? Um, Before you came in uh, and started handing out drinks, we were actually just discussing that. Did you need a drink? Can I offer him one? Uh, No, no, thank you. I insist. Uh, No, 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 thank you. I offer it to any of his companions. They shy away. No. Mm. So they asked me fair, for uh, my help in, in, in tracking down this uh, Dreadclaw Brotherhood and stopping them. And did and, you and did you offer it? 
Yeah, of course. And I told them that uh, I had powerful friends and I was wondering if you guys would help me as well. But I also know we have responsibilities to the king. So. Yes, yes. Let us seek out these powerful friends of yours. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's everyone else in the room, but you. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Got him. Got him. Suck it. So okay. Red Man looks up. He's well, like, so will, will you help us? <laughs> well, we're currently awaiting orders from the king, and unfortunately, the king's orders do take precedent. How many days has it been? Uh, tomorrow, you guys are meeting with the king, so like four. Okay. Well. I say we uh, meet with the king tomorrow, see what's up, and then maybe we can help these people. We'll tell the king of your plight. Yeah. Mm. Okay, like so, um, yeah, they, they thank you profusely. Um, they take to whatever food is being offered to them, and they, they kind of, like, I offer set them up, a drink. They, they kind of set up shop, like, they're, they're going to sleep there for the night. Gotcha. Um, just Are without any asking. Are hot? Must um, be preparing. The, uh... Yeah, sure. They're, I mean, the two, the two there. It's a human female and a dragonborn female are not ugly. There you go, Baron. Um, I enough. approach the dragonborn female. Sure, <laughs> she's got a. I'm long, fully functional, but I, just, I just don't need that kind wavy, of wavy uh, white hair. Uh huh. Yeah. And then she's got you know green eyes. Her her horny? scales are actually blue. Blue, no horns. Uh, she has two mm, piercings on her lip and three piercings on like her upper Ooh, eyebrow. She's sounding kinky though. I just walk up and I tell her the color of your scales is especially beautiful. Um, she shies away. <laughs> she's like, oh, "Thank you." She <laughs> blushes. The brightness a bit. of a thousand here. Her, her skin, her, her scales turn purplish. I ask, "Is like, is there face. anything I can get you to make you more comfortable for your evening?" Am, am I nearby? Yep, you I are. Would, I would like to help him out and be like. He's really good at making uh, lovely females comfortable. She's taking to your <laughs> advances very nicely. I continue those advances, and yeah. if we want to expedite this, yeah, that <laughs> advances into the night. No, no, yeah. I, no. Why is this going on? I Cock walk block. up. <laughs> I walk up to him and I like hook him by the arm. I'm like, come with me, and I like just pull him away. All right. I tell her as like I give her like I slip her slide. I hand her the key to my room, and I look at her. And I'm like, I'll see you later. She <laughs> gave him stranger a key to your room. You, Interesting. Uh, yeah, your room sure. is never your locked. Room, your rooms have keys now. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your room is never locked. She still doesn't know where it's at. I mean, she, um, <laughs> did Keybase see this exchange? Yep. You guys are all in the same room. No, it's a slide um, of hand. He got the roll oh, slide of hand. Give me a put cock check. meat in my rash. Give me a deception check. Or a slide of hand, rather. Or a slide of hand check. Keybase, go ahead and give me a uh, my perception. Passive, my passive is 18. Okay. Shut up with your passive. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> you min maxing son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, Baron's been drinking. He has no passive perception. Oh. Uh oh. Passive perception at disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> How does it even work? 24, slide ahead. You don't even know. I don't see it. All right. All right. <laughs> you don't but, see it. And also, Baron's busy offering drinks to Rembane and Annette. Well, noticing, noticing what he's doing and. Understanding fully well what he's doing, oh, yeah? I go up to the really? nubby guy and say, "Your nub is barely barely noticeable." <laughs> he uh, he says, "Thank you," <laughs> and I also give him a key to Gritz's room. <laughs> Do you hand it like to his nub nub side? Or? I give it to the nub side, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, to whose room? <laughs> to Chris's room. Oh, okay. I had to make this. I forgot during the week you guys had time to go to the key maker and get multiple keys made for everybody's room, thus negating the real reason for a lock if everyone has a key. Sure. But why? <laughs> God damn it. All right. I see what, I see what shrimp needs. We just got plans oh, and <laughs> layers and layers of <laughs> All right, you see this. Everyone God damn sees it. it. This is the best episode. <laughs> <laughs> the best episode I'm being pulled ever. away and like, shrimp, what, what the fuck do you want, dude? Oh, I'm just, come with me. Come man. with me. And we'll I'm walk to outside. Come with her later. Yeah. 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 No, I see that. Just walk outside. I walk outside. With they're shrimp. surrounded by cats that watch them. <laughs> oh, they're, they're on every the balcony move. at least. That's just nice. Yeah. 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 You're yeah. not like out the front door. The cats no. are there too. Yeah. yeah. You're on the balcony and on the rooftop across the street, you just, you see. What looks like an army of cats that are just chilling out there. 
the fuck are those cats? <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, from time to time, a druid, you know, gets an army of cats together, I assume. So oh, yeah, you, sure, you definitely arm. recognize these are. Yeah. You gotta druid, have your druid pussy, man. Cats. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a, a druid did something terrible to all these cats. <laughs> uh, turning my back to this group of cats. I, uh, Is that a smart move? <laughs> yeah, I'll be, I'll be all right. Mm. I uh, And under common, I say, you need to read this, and I hand him the letter. I, uh, I read the letter. <clears throat> yep. Do you want me to recap the information that was in the letter? Yes, yes please. All right. Um, it was basically congratulation, congratulating you guys on the work of the last job um, that was done for the hand in the city. Um, everything went the way it was supposed to. Uh, there's some warning to tread carefully. There's some powerful players in the city of Sedlio. And that your Aunt Annie is setting up a bakery in town. Aunt Annie. Uh, I look oh, at yeah. That. I, and you do know Thieves Can't, so it's, it's encoded that the... Uh, that the lady Annie, who's a pretty high up in the position of the right, right hand... Is she okay? She's still okay. You already um, made that joke. She's uh, setting up a front for her her business, which is probably the the first major foothold that Red Right Hand has had in Sedlio since ever. Okay, I uh, I fold the letter and I in undercommon. At first, I compliment him on his undercommon. Like you've gotten really good at that. I'm glad uh, glad we were able to teach teach that to you. Um, <laughs> Did you exposition dump? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the DM has this questioning look, like. Did that happen? Yep. He's nope. a cunning linguist. He picked yep. it up. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, kind of linguist? What? <laughs> did, Something wait, about his say tongue we need being to go really talk talented. To her, or is it like, oh, I'm sorry. Yes, know. it did. It said you should say hi to her. Right. So, okay. Yeah. I was like, yeah, you uh, should. How, many, how many days do we have? What? It's the next morning we're supposed to The next go. morning is the meeting, yeah. All right. I was like, you want to go see her tonight? I mean, I think we should. All right. You want to destroy this? This is all an undercommon, by the way. Of course. Yeah. Uh, as he's holding it, I using... Uh, Druidcast? What's the spell? Druidcraft. Druidcraft. Druidcraft? Yeah. Not Chromecast. Uh, I reach out and I set fire, fire to the stick? letter. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> it, Roku. It comes engulfed in flames and the wisps wisps of the ashes fly off into the night. Let's head out. All right. That sounds good. And uh, Do you guys go back through the guild hall or are you just jumping off the balcony there? Shit. How I high said, up are we? I got Second floor. So like just over <laughs> 10 feet. It's like 12 feet maybe. <laughs> Jump off I go over the balcony. Way cooler. Cool. I I walk back through the middle. Okay. Uh, <laughs> lame. No, it's no a safe balls. jump for you. You just whoop. you look pretty cool. You do like a parkour roll when you hit the ground. Nice. Shrimp doesn't. Sit though, and I dust he's a lame off. old man. Wait for him to come through the door. All right. Mm. Uh, so yeah, you guys see shrimp just like uh, walk through. Is that what you're doing? You just yeah, walk just through walk, and head just out. Walk out. Right. Heads out. As he's walking out, I. Uh, Shrimp, join us, and I pour him a drink. Uh, hang on, and I, I hold out my the quiver for my uh, crossbow. I say, look, we're, we're meeting in the morning. I'm going to go see if I can get some more bolts for this before we head out. I'll be back in a little bit, and I walk out. I'm saving one for you. I appreciate that. And I continue singing. Okay. <laughs> also, I was singing. Yep. <laughs> Which is why um, he's continuing to sing. <laughs> Anybody else doing anything? I go. eBay, Max. I go grab a few more cats and bring them inside. <laughs> All right. And I go to bed. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Makes Does he grab Ralph? Ralph? <laughs> um, no, no, no. I don't know. He's got to stay with his crew. Do I grab Ralph? Uh, no. Ralph, Ralph grabbing. <laughs> Ralph has embedded himself in this. <laughs> Wave of cats to where you're he's not easily accessible. Hey, Kibe's Asian, he loves cats. That's true. Most Asians do love cats for some reason, but no, I don't know how that affects which cat you grab. <laughs> <laughs> Is there an Asia in our universe? <laughs> Here's about nope. to see. <laughs> All right, Flint McShrimpton, Gritz Grindel, you guys, um. I've done enough legwork to figure out where Annie's setting up shop at. And like it is nighttime. 
Um, so certain parts of the city are, are bustling, um, nightlife. You find a familiar street, uh, cargo street and a familiar building, um, that was once visited by you guys, uh, earlier in the season. Um, but it's now, uh, being remodeled and redecorated and a new sign is up. Um, it says the philosopher's scone. Um, oh. and it's a, <laughs> um, I go back to the, <laughs> um, and it looks to be, uh, what was once a, a tavern slash pub looks to be a bakery and you see patrons inside getting baked goods. Tarkin's there. <laughs> Who? Tarkin's there? Maybe. We'll have to see once they get inside. <laughs> I go inside. I also, I look, are there any, is there any thieves can't around the door or anything like that? Um, No, the thieves can't that you saw on the door before is scrubbed off. Okay. The one that told you it was a safe space before, safe place, well, I was safe house. For, I was looking for that one or any new. Right, right. No, no, there, you don't see anything. Okay, is there cool, any cool. Druidic? No. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Worth a shot. Yeah, I don't actually look. <laughs> Uh, all right, go inside. Yeah. All right, you head inside, and uh, yeah, uncharacteristically, it's a it's a pretty active bakery at night. Um, and then behind the counter, you do see an older, uh, quite rotund dwarf female. Uh, she's got you know really heavy makeup and like big blown out hair, um, and uh, she's just like you know, serving scones and stuff. Uh, does she have any like markings on her or anything? Any? She's wearing full, full length sleeves. Full length sleeves. All right. Yep. I uh, as I walk up to the counter, I roll my sleeves up, mm-hmm. uh, revealing some of my tattoos, and I say, uh, "I'd like to place an order." Um, she she looks at your tattoos, kind of gives you a nod, and she's like, "Sure. What do you need?" Uh, you know what? I'd really like to speak to the manager. Uh, she's like, well, that'll be me, sweetie. Uh, can we have a sexier voice, please? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> she uh, she's also puffing on a, a cigarette with like a big ah. stock or holder. Is it like I, I, a neck? It's a, <laughs> <laughs> it's a cigar <laughs> on a holder. No, it's a, it's a, it's a cigarette. Yeah, oh, it's, okay. <laughs> it's very dainty. I like the idea of like a, a Churchill cigar. <laughs> <laughs> on a holder. It's like it's like three feet long. <laughs> no. Uh, oh, is stogie. anyone else in the in the room? Uh, yeah, there's a couple patrons just sitting around eating. Um, Who? But it's weird that you don't see anyone going up to the counter and buying anything. You just uh, see a couple I people. Just look at, I just look at her and be like, we're just here to check on Annie, my Aunt Annie. Yeah. I just want to know if she's okay. <laughs> Annie? Do, do we know okay? the patrons? Are you okay, Annie? Um, I mean, you don't recognize any of them, but they're You've the ones by. in here. <laughs> You've been met mm. by some smooth criminals. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, she shakes her head. That's the whole song. <laughs> puts the, cig- the entire puts song. the cigarette down on the counter, and she's like, "All right, come with me." Oh, this is a garbage just, rule. Better. She just walks back uh, to the back door and expects you to follow. How, follow how, how, how thick there. is she? Oh, she's Shit. thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. Oh, she, 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 oh, she waddling. Oh, I take I take notice. <laughs> <laughs> I say this is the centaur I've been looking for. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, she makes her way T-shirt through idea. a back door, um, and the door yes, opens, stays open just enough for you guys to follow. I uh, slip inside. She, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> she goes back um, to another. <laughs> she goes to another door and gives it like a, a secret coded knock, where she's like. <laughs> And then she it opens up. Back door. It opens up, and uh, you see a room of like smoke-filled. Uh, people are walking around. Um, guys are a couple of guys of all different races. Are you know everyone's like sleeveless or, or whatever. And you see different levels of tattoos on everyone's right arm um, in the familiar red ink, similar to both of yours, but. Uh, most of them are much more ornate. Uh, where yours is just like kind of on the hand right now. Um, you a and then scrub, grits, son. Grits are also is is also just on the hand, right? Or did you his is a little bit more than mine. Yeah. Um, and even then, as soon as she walks through, someone hands her just this giant fat cigar. Yeah. She pops it in her mouth, and she's like, 
Yeah, I'm Annie. What do you need? I'm just told to come and check on you by the big boss. Yep, that's true. Um, so yeah, we'll be, uh, looks like thanks to you guys, we'll be setting up shop here in, uh, said Leo. Um, don't have any jobs for you right now. Uh, you know, I'm actually still confused on how you guys even got in the Don guard. Uh, those, uh, those codexes aren't exactly falsifiable. Um, you know, in reference to the, the invitations that yeah. you guys got. Not with that attitude. Um, huh, maybe we just earned it. She's like, huh, yeah, <laughs> sure. I uh, start laughing. <laughs> she, uh, she's like, you probably have the council to thank for that one. Um, uh, but I mean, did you guys have any questions? Uh, hey. You're saying, uh, can I get my, can I get my poisoner's kit refilled and everything? Sure. Yeah. And then she whistles someone over and one of the little, little runners comes and gets it from you. Starts bringing you whatever supplies you need and stuff like and that. And I ask her, I was like, can I get, can I offer At this? this? Point, you guys have made your way to like a, a table where the three of you can talk. I, I give her my, um, bag of sharp sugar. I was like, mm -hmm. mind it, uh, offloading this for me. She me a takes cut. it in her hand. Uh, she's like, where'd you get this at? I didn't think they had any out here. Man, uh, man has his ways. <laughs> Don't we all? She, uh, takes some, dips her finger in it, kind of rubs it in her teeth a little bit. It's like, mm, okay, okay. Uh, and then she hands it off to someone else, gives them some instructions and they run off. Excellent. Uh, uh, if you got any more gear, I could I could use some bolts for my crossbow. Oh, is that it? Yeah, we can hook you up. Yeah. So she All refills right. whatever bolts you need. She says, hey, uh, I noticed uh, two of your other Dawn Guard buddies, they uh, they kind of got some uh, heavy, uh, heavy weaponry. Um, and then she kind of makes like the, like a gun, gun <laughs> noise. Yeah. Yeah. She's like, uh, yeah. if they need anything, bring them by. I think we got some desserts they might like. So uh, I, you got anything, I like you, desserts. Uh, got anything you can wrap up to go? Uh, I might like a gift. Well, see, uh, most of the stuff I got with me is icing. And if their, uh, if their cakes aren't ready for it, it does them no good. Fair enough. My cake's ready. I ask her, I pull out my... I have it on good authority. His cake is ready. <laughs> I pull out my uh, my dagger of life stealing. Yeah? With like the symbol of Loth and all that yeah. on it. And I was like, if you come across anything like this, uh, save it for me. I I'd like to get my hands on more. She's like, ooh, all right. Yeah, sure. I'll keep an eye out. I don't like dealing with spider folk, but I know you... Uh, you you drow like to dabble and stuff like that. Yeah, <laughs> like to stick to my roots, and it doesn't have to be weaponry, like clothing, books, anything. Sure, sure. When she's just Still like does. puffing giant plumes of smoke at you. Do I have my cloak at this point? Uh, you grabbed it back from the guy. Yeah, I mean it's After not enchanted, but it's cut to okay. cloak pattern. I was like, uh, do you know any enchanters it's that could help us out on a uh, little bit of a discount? <sighs> Uh, I can ask around. We, uh, we just, you know, like I said, we just set up shop recently, but, uh, I'm sure, you know, give us, give us some time. We'll, we can find someone for you. Of course. Thank you, Annie. No problem, sweetie. Anything I can, I can do to help you guys acclimate, get the shop set up easier. No, I think we're doing pretty good. Just keep your eye to the, or your ears to the ground and we'll let you know when you need you. All right. I'm just give her the salute. And All right. She you gives you the salute back, and as she does, you can see her her sleeve pulls up, and it's just like completely lined, like all up. You can even see like on her neckline. It's it's question. It's what everywhere. is the salute? Uh, you'll have to like be cooler salute to find out. Or? Salute. <laughs> it's not for you to know. <laughs> it's what Italian people say. I mean, say you can learn drinking. if you want to join up. So, uh, uh, I mean, I I'm not her, saying that's not a possibility. I take her hand. And yeah, I, I kiss her hand. Yeah, and I say. Thank you. Thank you for everything you've done. Gay? It's okay. <laughs> Pretty sure she's a dude. <laughs> it's hard to tell with dwarves. <laughs> uh, uh, thank you for everything. If you ever need anything from, uh, you know, us as red right hand or just from me personally, let me know. It's easy. The, the female <laughs> she, dwarves she have just, a shorter beard. Uh, sometimes. We'll see. <laughs> uh, she cackles. She's just like, <laughs> yeah, sure thing, sweetie. Yeah. Yeah. I asked her, I was like, do you actually yeah. have baked goods here? Because I would really uh, like disgusting. a cupcake. Uh, 
Yeah, we do actually. <laughs> <laughs> Are you good in the kitchen? <laughs> she, she hands you a kilo of sharp sugar. <laughs> <laughs> no, as you guys, as you guys wrap you up, yeah, she gives you get these cans. <laughs> she gives you a, a care package of you know just like Granny's treats. It's just like <laughs> yes, yeah, she does. <laughs> yeah. All right, some muffins, some Cook, sharp yeah, sugar, and some nudes. cookies, and, and things like that, and biscuits. Oh, yeah, nice. <laughs> You got a sampler. All right, yeah. cool, cool. Of I'm good. Everything. I'm good to head back. I, right. I ask her if she has any muffin tops. I can- <laughs> um, yeah, at this point, she's she's like she's already cut the shit and moved on to something else. All right. <laughs> How what time of night is it? Uh, not too uh, late. Middle of the day. I look at I look at I look at him and I hand him the box of goodies. Like I'm gonna earn us a little bit of gold while we're uh, while the we're, box of what? The back the box of goodies. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna earn us a little bit of gold while we're. Just out here, you know, return back a little bit later. Are we going to sell the cookies? No, I'm going to perform. I'm good. Okay. I start eating the cookies. <laughs> Gangsters to Girl Scouts? Yeah. We- <laughs> door to door. I start juggling with my magic color changing sure. juggle balls and start trying to, you know, get some corn. All right. You guys street perform for the night? Is- no, nah, I'm like, all right, man, if you're going to do this, I'm going to go home. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. Everyone else back at the guild hall. Um, shrimps made it back. Everyone's kind of just chilling and drinking. Is that is that what you guys want to do? Yeah, for us yeah. Now? I'm definitely drunk. Uh, oh, I'm definitely ba- drinking. Baron is definitely drunk at this point. As mm. soon as uh, Shrimp walks back in, he's like, "Shrimp, I saved you one, man." I say, "Thank you, brother. I, I brought got you something right for here you. for you." And I set down the baked goods. I pull out Ooh. one of the bolts from yeah. my uh, <clears throat> quiver. And tap on it, and I was like, "Special order, just for you guys." What is this? And I dig in. Yeah. I and hope they're I delicious. Pull a sharp sugar. I take, they're actually really good. I take the drink and I like clink it with whoever's nearby. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I, I get yeah. real, you know, like I, I go put my arm around shrimp and I get real honest with them and I tell them, it's like, you know, shrimp man, like we we haven't always gotten along, man. I've known you for like a week. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but there's been like some stressful it's like two times. weeks. Yeah, it's been a fortnight. Yeah, I've known you for change. like two weeks. But there's been more. like some stressful times, man. And you know, I'll be honest, like some of it's my fault, dude. I agree. Yeah. Is Baron high? So no, he's drunk. <laughs> he's like a real friendly he's ad- a friendly oh. drunk. He admits his wrong. He, he's an Andrew drunk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. No, I don't want to agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> What's Anyways, wrong with he just like he starts like apologizing for the way that he's been and you know, he he just wants to be a better person to shrimp and you know, like he just if only shrimp would just start being trustworthy, he could be cool with him. If only you'd start what? sleeping together. <laughs> oh, that's what he says. It's taking great offense to this. I was like, well, I had another gift for you guys, but I don't know if I want to share it with you now. No, nah, dude, man, we're all friends. We're all, dude, we're all, we're all good. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm telling you that I'm sorry. Mm. Accusing uh, me. Of, all right, that's fair. All right. I feel like this would be more believable Rick. if Baron was actually drunk. <laughs> Once again, we'll talk later. Baron's got to drive. <laughs> <laughs> Realizing what's happening, let Ting drive. Yeah. That's fine. I go up and I <laughs> hand uh, Grits a key to Baron's room. <laughs> yeah. Or uh, Shrimp. Yeah. I hand Shrimp a key to Baron's room. Okay. Seeing that they're obviously key master key for him, just handing out keys to. <laughs> <laughs> I had a lot made. I, I look at it. I inspect <laughs> it. Does he have a keyblade? Is that what this shit is? He's <laughs> <laughs> unlocking rooms left and right. <laughs> I look at it and I go, no, man, I already got one of these. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have key I don't take it back. Else's room. What? Okay. I don't take All right. I put it in my pocket. Great. Great. I got two now. Ralph, what are you doing outside? Man, I got yeah. eyes all over the city now. <laughs> Do you? We're, we're getting all the scraps everywhere we can get. Give me a charisma check. Charisma <laughs> check. Yeah. Cat charisma. Yeah. Yeah. For cat charisma. I'm too fat for this tray. Cat charisma. Oh, it eleven. Eleven. Oh, bro, uh, I'm it's all not, over that it's tray. Not quite, it's tray. not clear. It's not tray. clear, bro. It's, it's not. It's not quite all over the city, uh, but you have a, a decent sized cat gang. All right, all right, that sounds good. Yeah, we're, we're a, trying to take over. I mean, there's a couple other cat gangs. Yeah, we it's got gonna take a couple more us. nights of yeah, yeah. cat recruitment, or I don't know, <laughs> rush you, week. I don't know. I don't know what cats do. Um, you see a very uh, nice. Half elf juggling in the street. That's sure. You did a nice today. Uh, 
grits out there. Peddling for some <laughs> coin. Anyone want to do anything <laughs> for the morning comps? Uh, when I return back is <laughs> Stumpy and uh, Dragonborn Woman in my room. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, the Dragonborn female's in there. No one else is. She's asleep on the on the bed. Too much I juggling, sleep man. And I uh, big spooner while we sleep. All right. I get more drunk. Cool, cool. <laughs> Morning comes. Uh, and so do I. Birds chirp. <laughs> <laughs> Just by yourself while you're drunk. <laughs> like Sounds been like been a lonely there. night. <laughs> oh, you've never been there. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, anyways. That was good. All right. So what are you guys doing the next day? I uh, fix my dragonborn lady some breakfast. Sure. Free of Kibe shit. <laughs> As he likes to eat him to do his shit in the eggs. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I, I don't know why. I hope I'm doing about four cats just run out. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I bring I bring her some breakfast and make some breakfast for me and Dragon Ball Lady. We eat in my room. Sure. I just converse with her and just talk. I'm curious if he cooked any of the centaur dick. No, he said he made eggs and stuff and breakfast. Did you? I mean, there's. I don't have centaur any centaur dick. dick. That's not true. Do you want some? No, I had oh, some in my rations. That is true. I had some in my rations that I ate. How many more rations of centaur penis do I have? Um, give me a D4 roll. <laughs> how many more inches are left? Yeah, how many more inches? Three. Six. You have six inches of centaur dick left. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah. All right, all right. Writing Plenty of inches. Centaur. Stuff. So everyone has gone through their morning routines. Everyone's cleaned up, had breakfast. So glad I don't wanted eat. to do all that stuff. Uh, you've made your repairs, Elon. Nibbles Yay. is now in working condition. Your yes. bag of holding is now in working condition. Hooray! Um, everyone's healed. Everyone's got slots back. Everyone's leveled up, right? From the last time they yeah. did their thing. Yep. I'm going to talk to Elon and ask him if I can store some of my kits in his bag of holding. You sure can. I got you, bro. I put with him my poisoner's kit, my disguise kit, my other disguise kit, and my forgery Jesus. kit. <laughs> Why do you have so many disguise kits, man? Just use one. Because, because when you multi-class, you get a lot of stuff. <laughs> Why? I don't know. How, that's just what my app told me I have. I'm just putting those kits in there. Gotcha. Look, if you think I want, we'll have to go through that because I don't. Start you don't get equipment rent. every time you like when you multi class. Yeah, yeah as well. that's what the, the app. Equipment. That's what the app gave me. That's why we don't. All right, all right. Look, we'll, we'll we'll deal with that later. I also give. I also give it two of my instruments. <laughs> no, <laughs> which, no, which instruments? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm you don't let him. Line. No, oh, okay. he doesn't let Fuck you put your instruments, instruments man. <laughs> but then I keep my necklace, orcarina, and my flute. That's all you need, bro. I leave my lyre in my or my lute in my room. Oh. Fuck the lute. Lute's are lame. <laughs> I'm like, let's go. Let's go see the king. All right. All right. All right. God, you guys head. You guys all head to the king. To the king. Let's go to the king. Ralph, are you going with them? Um, I'm gonna have the cats carry me to a good lookout point. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the as you guys make your way, <laughs> the fucking the, king of cats from the Dongard Hall. I mean, you, like, is there just a bigger cat that just grabs you by the scruff of the neck in, and just carries no, no, you? No, in, in, mean, in, in Disney musical style, you just see a parade of cats along the rooftops <laughs> <laughs> carrying another cat on their shoulders. We, we see that? Oh we yeah, see you it, see yeah. it. It's, uh, I need it's to not, stop. It's not I easily, need to stop drinking. Is what it's needs not to happen? You can easily hide. <laughs> I, I I tap shrimp. I was like. <laughs> I whispered to him in Undercom and was... Do you whisper was, into the mic? Because that'd there, be great. Was there something in, in those baked goods? Because I'm seeing cats carrying cats. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know, man. Like, <laughs> after what I've seen the last couple of days, I, I don't know why I'm I would doubt roll this. with it. <laughs> You're right. And we carry on to the king. Um, you arrive at the Citadel of Loom. Um, the massive gates are already open for you. The two guards out there immediately bow uh, and let you pass. This is the one that Elon gave his life story to? No, this is a different, <laughs> this is a different shift. Um, but everyone in the town knows it by now. Um, <laughs> Back when I was a wee lad. <laughs> you make your way up the massive steps through the courtyard. And you arrive in um, in the in the king's uh, personal chambers, which in itself is 
is a massive like museum like hall um and inside everything is to a degree coated and plated in gold i mean it's it's a very yellow gold almost um I love gold. Yeah, it's very much like that. <laughs> the smell of it. The yeah. Taste of it. The um, texture. You see the you see the king up ahead. Uh, his back is turned to you, and there's just these glimmering tendrils of, of energy just flowing out from him, each one grasping different giant metal objects and kind of legoing them together um, and piecing together this giant piece of machinery. Um, and as, as you approach, he just says, uh, he says, welcome, Don Guard. Before I he says that, kneel. I, yeah, I, I Same kneel and okay. Sure. Yeah. But who are we walking up to? To the, the king. king. <laughs> I just stand there and be like, what the fuck are you doing, bro? I kneel. Bar- Baron kneels. I also Kibay? kneel. Yeah, I'm Pussy. <laughs> Where's I Ralph? Just- I don't kneel. Uh, I mean, he he was not. A, Ralph is having it. his yeah, pussy he's, orgy. He's whatever. outside uh, with the other cats, just <laughs> above. He's out there. He's out there thronging. Yeah. He saw. He's out there thronging. Him, yes. He has a he has a perch where he saw you guys enter, but he didn't. He doesn't see anything beyond that. He's curled up in like the king's meow, lap meow, or some meow, shit. Meow, 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 meow. Exactly. So the king, uh, without turning away from his work, um, but his voice is 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 loud and booming and clear as day. Um, he says, "Do you have anything to report?" I uh, ask if he's re- if he received our correspondence. I did. Um, anything to, to add? Nothing to add. I just want to make sure that you received it. Uh, we've gotten reports of um, some Tiamat followers gaining ground and growing in Dragon's Maw. We were hoping to be dispatched and going to help your people there. Not mentioned that we've spent the last five days, you know preparing for this new mission he says that sounds like a worthy cause for the dawn guard i don't have a problem with this um i do have one request of you of course my king he says no i won't do it naked um in in just his his monotone straightforward voice he says far to the north beyond the black steps is a massive volcano still active um, above it, a white plume, just standing alone in the what distance. The fuck is that? And he says, uh, "There are three shards that I require. Bring them to me." That there is are all. Three shards located in the volcano. Yes. Three okay. shards of what material? Um, he holds out a hand again, while the other easily a dozen other pieces are, are putting together this like Rube Goldberg of machinery. Um, he holds a hand out and above it, uh, the image of three uh, magical uh, glowing swords is what they look like to you. Um, each one different shape, one just pure black, uh, almost absorbs light. Uh, it's not just painted black or anything. Um, and the two other ones, again, just uh, majestic and like perfectly um, crafted. He said. Uh, he just shows you the image. He says, "These are the shards I require." And they are north of the Black Steps. Correct. Do they go by any names that we may reference? Um. He says, "I, I don't know." Um. Colloquially, they are known as Wave, uh, and then one kind of shines, Whelm, and then the middle one shines, and Black Razor, and the third one shines. The dark one. Yeah, I, out of curiosity, like what, um, what significance do these shards play into your, your plan for the realm? Just, I mean, just curious. I mean, <laughs> my like, eyes go wide. Yeah, I mean, I, I almost am, shit myself. Yeah, I'm <laughs> not okay with this question. I mean, as I'm kneeling, I scoot back as, <laughs> as best I can. I mean, we're diving into a volcano. Into left, away I mean, I'm him. fine with that. I'm just, I'm just curious, like what are what the fruit of this mission will be. Um, he says, I require them to complete my machine. Okay. Um, is there All right. A, Thank you, sire. Is there like a form machines. of communication you would like us to use to communicate with you specifically, directly? Smoke signals. He says, I, I, once, I once spoke to you all of trust, and I trust you. Uh, excellent, my king. We'll be on our way. Thank you very much. Uh, As, we'll go deal with this, uh, with these Tia Martian uprisings, and and then we will uh, take care of these black steps. 
Okay. <laughs> I, I ask him, pardon me, but who should, how is the best way to communicate with you directly and to make sure our message gets to you? Well, if uh, any messages need to come to me, um, since Norik is out of commission at the moment, uh, anything you can say to me, you can tell Vices. And we, we trust Vices. Absolutely. Of course. <laughs> Okay. Excellent, my king, and I bow and walk back yep. out, out of wherever it is. Guys. I don't listen to him. Bad. I'm backing away. Mm-hmm. Yep, I keep... I yeah, just, yeah, yeah. No, I, if if <laughs> Elon stays there to say know, things, I, I, I wait. walking. I say... I, I wait until we leave to be like, bro, some shit stinks. I say, uh, before backing out, my king, are you hungry? <laughs> oh God! <laughs> yeah. Uh, he says, uh, "No, I'm not, Young Kibe." Okay, bye. Uh, I chime in. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> <laughs> says I have no need for sustenance, but it's really good. <laughs> what? Uh, what? I don't either, but I ate some. <laughs> what type of creature is the king? So, um. He looks human for the most part. Uh, his skin is just as gold as the metal uh, in, in his hull. Um, and it, it moves like skin, but it's still shiny. Um, and for the most part, I mean, he's he's not naked, but he has like that like Roman just like kind of like towel. Dr. Man- it's like Dr. Manhattan. He's like Dr. Manhattan with a little bit of modesty. He has a towel around his waist. Um, he has no hair. He has a, a couple of um, like... Um, like, like plumes or, or things that come off his cheeks and he has one stock that comes off his head. Um, but other than that, everything else looks humanoid in nature. In Celestial, I would like to thank him for his time and the honor of being in his presence. Um, when, you, when you say that, he, uh, for the first time, he actually physically acknowledges you. Like He turns his head um, and he speaks it back directly to you. And he says, um, of course. Um, and with his head turned, not making eye contact or anything, just turned to the side. Um, he says that uh, the dawn god, the dawn guard before you, many have been powerful, many have been strong. But I believe you lot will have the most important role to play. And then he turns back to his work and he's just, he's just continuing nonchalantly did we all hear that last Constructing part? Constructing this. He says it in Celestial. Oh, okay. Two. Mm. And still bowed, I back away until I get out the door. <laughs> <laughs> um, so everyone back out? I, I just nod to him and be like, thanks, bro. And I just walk <laughs> out. All right. He so you guys you. Uh, walked out of the Citadel uh, and you're just Look, standing in the know, street. He's just some fat dude on a throne. He ain't proved shit to me. He's cut. Are we outside? (laughs) (laughs) I'm I'm just thinking that. Yeah, you're outside. Just explaining my rationale. You're thinking that with the rock in your head that makes all your thoughts probably no. I'm not broadcasting it, bro. (laughs) Come on. Uh, All right. I'm a little smarter than that. Just a tad. So, I mean, at this point, you you guys do know you can still think to yourself. You can speak to each other telepathically. Okay. But you're still able to think to yourself. Yeah, bro. Get on the same page. (sighs) Uh, We're all wiretapped. How many? Yeah. <laughs> the king is he the wiretapped Don Guard Tower. <laughs> yeah, he wiretapped our brains. <laughs> the King Intelligence Agency is like yeah. fully the tapped. KIA. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was about um, to say that same thing. How many cats do I see outside? So many cats. Uh, Nineteen twenty. I. I look at what seems to be the smartest looking one. Sure. It's pretty easy to point out because three of them are carrying him. <laughs> <laughs> and they're and just the cat is on laying on its back. With yeah. his oh, no. so obviously, okay, the smartest the street, one is one Yeah, you can see him up there. <laughs> As it, in Druidic, I say, uh, hey, Ralph. <laughs> you hear a chorus of meows. <laughs> give me a charisma check. <laughs> not giving you omnipotent cat powers right now. <laughs> Why? I, I like how he just decided he has these cat powers. Where is 19. that in the PHP? 19? 
Uh, Did Ralph's you're, BHB? You're, a, you're a cat leader, but you're not a cat lord right now. Okay. Right? Yeah. yeah, I'm still working on it. Yeah, you hear one meow. <laughs> 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 Is it from the one I it's think it's Ralph? Yeah. yeah. Uh, like, uh, <laughs> All right, man. You, oh, man. you got a plan for this, or you just hanging out with us? Which what's this? Well, you know, uh, I, you know somebody's got to keep their ear to the ground. You know, hear what's going on. Yeah, you know, got nothing better yeah. to do. Um, I'm gonna cast <laughs> speak with animals to one of the other cats that's on the ground near me. Okay, sure. Animal. Yeah, it's a little Persian one with a <laughs> tail. I prefer Normal a, for Persian cats. I prefer a Siamese, if you please. Um, there aren't <laughs> any on the ground, unfortunately. <laughs> okay. All right. This this Persian so, will do. I'm uh, just kidding. It's 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 not Persian. It's a Siamese. Oh, okay. Even okay. if you don't, Ha-ha! please. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm like, hey, hey, man, what are you doing right now? Like, right meow, right meow. He's like, <sighs> I don't know this that one up there. He just like. He promised us a bunch of food, and I mean, it hasn't, it hasn't been bad. Like, I don't know, you're just, you're just kind of playing along with him. Yep. Kind of sick of good berries. Are but, you just? I mean, you just kidding with him right now? <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! Oh my gosh! You walked uh, into this. You knew what was going to happen. <laughs> He's like, uh, I mean, what movie is not, it from? Not anyway? really anything else to do in the city right now, so there's no problem in indulging him. I, I, all right, man. Uh, is it is it a male cat? I can call it a man. Sex one, the cat. One yes, odd no. No, it's not. <laughs> uh, ma'am, I meant. <laughs> She's like, it's cool. It doesn't meow. I, I don't really care either way. It right. doesn't meow. <laughs> uh, Just not meow. Uh, She's I, I immediately stopped you. speaking with animals. <laughs> cat. <laughs> Can we not do this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what movie is that from? Um, um, please. That's uh, Aristocats. No, it's from Waiting the Tramp. It's from Waiting the Tramp. Okay. Waiting the Tramp. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's a I, good um, movie. I like that movie. <laughs> I curtsy up, to her. <laughs> All right. And then uh, pat her on the head. And sure, she purrs. I take notice of his kind treatment of my gang member. Sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> from atop from atop his cat perch. Yeah. <laughs> Na 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 cat man. <laughs> All right. All right. So what are you guys moving doing? On. <laughs> moving on. Moving on past <laughs> this to the next plot point, please. <laughs> so uh, we rally up our stuff. Can we just move to fighting? And we some sally shit, forth. We get ready to leave the city to go to help the Dragon Ball. Uh, Dragon Ball. Peasant Dragon, Dragon Ball. Dra- uh, I believe the king Dragon has business Ball. for us in the north. Fuck the king. Where's the where is the your... king? The king said to us that Dragon Ball sounds like that, a plan. He thinks that the uh, Dragon Ball is a plan. Tia Martians are worthy of our cause. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> I mean, we're gonna go help these people, and then we'll continue north at afterwards. Dragon Maw. All right, that, that's fine. Because Dragon Maw's on the way north. Is it? Is it? Dragon Ball yeah. is where the if problem you, if is. You look at, if you look at your map, that's where we're um, going. I do. I, do. I look at it. I don't. To Here? to the northeast like is Dragon's Maw. All right. Due north is the the giant gorge known as the Scar, um, and then kind of northwest is like that's the the desert of the Black Steps, and then even further than that is Gardoon. But just above that is essentially so where he directed you guys to we'll go. Head up. So whichever Dragon's way Maw, we'll settle. We'll settle the score with these terrorists, and uh, we'll carry forth to the Black Steps and conquer the volcano and earlier. bring back the shards. Yeah, we can even stop in your hometown on the way. Gardoon is close by. We should be welcomed uh, mightily. Excellent. Either I that, speak, or they're going to pray. I, the I, I, I look over at Shrimp and I speak in Undercommon. I'm going to rob that fucking family blind. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> I take a small contingent of cats with me. Do you do you speak under common now? I do. Okay. All right. That was one of the languages I picked up. Gotcha. So, so celestial thieves can't under common. Yes. We all get our stuff ready and yeah. we're ready to head out. Right. Roll out. I, I I leave charge with my friendly the, the best cat that has been with me this whole what time. What is his name? 
Steve. General Fluffers. <laughs> Actually, his name is General Fluffers. <laughs> General right. Fluffers. Steve for and short. I tell Steve for short. And I say General Steve Fluffers. Steve General Steve Fluffers. Keep up the good work. I'll be back shortly. And we'll w- this the Pussycats will soon arise to its full glory. Oh, shit. Surely. That's All right, you guys might have to weird. take them down sometime. Final balls. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it's just a swarm of pussy? cats. <laughs> He's like Adam I'd West on Family Guy just shooting cats out of a crossbow. <laughs> All right. So here you we guys, go. You guys head north <laughs> to, towards well, Dragon's Ball. Apparently. Yeah. I saddle Barnaby, and uh-huh. I believe we are... I mean, does anybody need anything else in the city? I hop on the nibbles. Let's do I, this. I, I, before we go, I'd like to make a trip to the post office. <laughs> Okay. And write my family that uh, a perhaps letter? yes. Okay. That perhaps we will be uh, crossing Gardoon soon. Okay. And if we are near and able, I will I will stop by and visit. Okay. I would also like to stop by the post office. Sure. You okay. guys went together to save time. All right. <laughs> and I would like to send. Uh, I'm going to send 50 gold to my parents in Canacapis. Okay. I, I would also like to go to the post office. Mm-hmm. And I would like to try to observe the mailing address that Baron uses. It's to House Bo regarding Gardoon. That, that's fine. And I would like to send a message to them stating that Baron may have been disfigured in our recent adventures, but he's afraid to tell them. And that, that's it. Give me a sleight of hand check. With advantage? Or check for what? I don't know. No. Nope. <laughs> the DM demands it. <laughs> it's a seven. Seven? Um, I mean, since you all went together. Uh, I mean, Baron, you, you, you just, you're looking over your shoulder and you see him writing this, this letter to your, <laughs> to your parents. I confront him. What business have you of writing my family? It's for your own good, boy. I, I just want to, you know, <laughs> embellish your your heroism. I include in my letter that there may be a letter coming from one of my compatriots. P.S. P.P.S. <laughs> that, that, I, that they should be on the lookout for a letter from one of my compatriots. Exactly. I and be want- wary of its contents. Sure. And in those contents, I would like to say that Baron has has been heroic in his efforts Mm -hmm. and that he has, you know, been a, you know, proven valued member of the Gondard. Hmm. I mean, it's sad that he's going to tell him to be wary of those, but that's just how it is, I guess. And then we sally forth. I I mail them a key. (laughs) (laughs) Tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually would like. Okay, just real I mean, quick. you know, um, do what I you do. go to the market real, one last time. Yeah, to sure. uh, see if I can figure out um, if they have gathered that information for me yet. Does at that the, at the market? Well, okay, never mind. I don't go to the market. I go to the moth childs. Moth, the moth childs. <laughs> okay. Um, and you were looking for which information specifically? Uh, specifically, the information he said he would, Mr. Mothchild Jr. Mm-hmm. said he would get some, see if he could find out where um, that, I need to write some of these names down. The guy with the <laughs> book. Norick. 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 I'm yeah. writing it down right now. No, you're not. Sure. Um, you don't speak directly with... Um, Horion Mothchild. Uh, it's R O R I O N. It's Portuguese. Um, <laughs> so um, he says that, as far as, um, or the information, he, he has uh, someone pass the information on to you. Um, and he tells you that they haven't been able to locate Norik. All reports say that he was sent out of the city on a, a special meeting of some kind or a, a special mission of some kind. I don't know which direction he went. The other part of the, um, the intel is that no one has seen him move in or out of the city. So they ne- no one actually he saw him leave. Hurt. No one actually saw him leave, but all intel um, reveals that he was sent somewhere with no no specific destination or anything like that. You got that. some of the dungeon. 
She got murdered. Okay. 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 And on my way back to the market, I try to buy a small cat figurine. Do I do that? A small what? Cat figurine. Yeah, sure. You find a small cat figurine. Okay. So <laughs> add that to your inventory. Adding it. And we head out. Hooray! From Sedlio. Heading north towards Dragon Small. You guys follow essentially the main road um, because between Sedlio and all of the main cities, um, there's definitely a, a well-defined road that caravans take and things like that. Um, as you get closer, you know, hours and hours go by. This is later in the day now. Um, off in the distance, you see a plume of smoke. Um, this is easily to the, to the West dragon's Maw itself is still two or three hours away due North from where you're at. Um, but you do see a plume of smoke and you see two flying creatures, um, near, near that plume. Uh, how, how large, Baron, they- what kind of creatures are those? <laughs> how, how large do they appear to be? Um, from your distance, they're they're definitely winged. Um, they look much larger than a man, much smaller than any of the dragons you've seen. Although their their wings and their bodies share a similar build. Oh, it's a goddamn harpy. Can I roll a nature to a check? Dragon? To I don't know. Can I roll right. a nature check to see what these winged creatures are? Sure, sure. I like to do the same. All right. How far away? I don't know what it is. <laughs> how far how, away? Yeah. How far away? Like estimated travel time um i mean it's it's a good good distance you're probably you're probably thinking like it could probably be an hour hour and a half away like these are these are specks in the in the distance 19 19 uh, it's it's hard to tell as as far away as you you just see two flying kind of pretty much dots are they like circle does it look falls. like they're circling they are yeah uh I'm like uh guys looks like there's uh some bad news up ahead see one of those before um. <laughs> yeah, sure. All right. I uh, I turn into a. Blue ray. Let me read that again. Actually, yeah, I turn into a Blu-ray. I need stats on a Blu-ray, please. Um, the Blu-ray. You try to turn into a Blu-ray, but uh, the CR is just too high. All right. I, uh, <laughs> I think about that. I'm like. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on. Yeah, they're, and I cast, they're just more, much more powerful creatures than they seem from the outside. I go, yeah, that was wrong of me. I cast Polymorph on myself uh-huh. into a Blu ray. Yep. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. All right. Turn into a Blu ray, a young adult Blu ray. The, the one that I saw earlier? Uh, not quite as old as that one. No. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, it seems like they're on an aging scale where like younger and young adult ones have drastically different statistics than adult <laughs> or elder ones. What's the flying speed of a Blu-ray? Uh, for a and young adult age, Blu-ray, yeah. uh, we'll say 80 feet. 80 feet? All right. Yeah. That's fair. So and uh, yeah, yeah, I, uh, I take off in that direction. Okay. Thinking to them as I leave, like, I'll check this out. And I'll be right back. And I All dash right. that direction. I mean, um, you you do have a little bit of Max's intel that they they still seem to be about an hour and a half or so away. Yeah. Just, okay. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. D- yeah dash that direction. All right. I uh, I take I take the reins of Madison and just lead him along with me as we head towards it. Okay. So does everyone head that or yeah? They just yeah. turn trail and all right. Me and my cats head that way too. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> you just a cat ride the other cats. <laughs> No, 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 no. This is my crew of like elite cats. So we we all how many? How do a bunch of alley cats keep up with like large animals? They're struggling right now because you guys have definitely picked up pace. Um, You're not at a trot now. You guys are bastard getting into battle. (laughs) They got tiny legs. (laughs) I offered them a ride on Madison. Do you? Awesome. We take the rides. I would like for someone to roll for Madison and whether or not he accepts that. Yeah. Uh, sure, happen. go for it. I'll roll for Madison. Advantage or disadvantage? He takes it. <laughs> I honestly don't know what you guys are rolling for at this point. <laughs> hey, we're all rolling. Whatever Yay. happens, happens. All right, whatever. Four, four and five. Right. Close. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I just want to get close enough to identify what, what's going sure, on. Sure. Yeah. Um, you guys just book it towards the source of the smoke. 
Um, and it does look like one of the smaller uh, remote villages um, adjacent to Dragon's Maw. Uh, it seems to be under attack. You see a lot of movement in the village itself up ahead through the through the path through the trees or through the plains. I'm sorry. Um, and up ahead, you do two, you do see two um, wyverns and riders atop of them circling making strafing runs they'll swing back down uh one one of them is just chucking spears at people the other one uh is directing his wyvern to pick people up and toss them in the air like they're just they're terrorizing this and on the ground you see easily a dozen or a dozen and a half um of people just laying into whatever farmers or peasants or civilians what uh, this is this is downhill um still a good couple you know even close to a thousand feet away. Okay. I prepare spare the dying. Um, I feel like we should fuck them up. What uh what race are the people in the village that are fighting them? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Um hang on a I second. I mean, they all look humanoid. Uh-huh. Um, not everyone looks human. Uh, how many uh, dwarves do I see? It's a good <laughs> contingency of dwarves. You see one. Uh, we have to dwarf. do something. You see one dwarven <laughs> family. Oh God! <laughs> um, yeah, just kind of ducking into one of the buildings. Family. I I try to think back to the group. You need to come over here. Yeah, I mean they're not far oh, behind you. We're all headed yeah. that way. Yeah, yeah. With right. an army as quickly yes. as you can. Um, I'm going to, as a blue ray, I'm going to fly to one of the wyverns and try to catch the rider. Okay. Yeah. As you. A yeah. Take off and you just make a beeline or a Blu-ray line straight to <laughs> uh, the Wyvern. Um, actually, we'll just end it right there. Mm. We start, we'll start the fight ah. next episode. Oh. Yeah, we'll do initiative next time. Are there yeah, any we'll crab women? There. Uh, we'll no. find out next time on <laughs> Bards and Nobles. Bards and Nobles! <laughs> so, yeah. Ba, 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 ba. Um, so, anyway. Uh, we have some announcements, some new we reviews, do. some comments some to read. Comments, yeah. fan mail. Sweet. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Sweet. We have no hate mail. I have an announcement. Send us some hate mail. Send us some fucking hate mail. <laughs> this is if a you challenge. Hate us, you hate this shit? I'm just saying, we're send not us official until we have some hate mail. I'm going to send us some hate mail. <laughs> <laughs> I hate all of you. I'm going to sign up for iTunes just <laughs> yeah. for that. Yeah. Um, uh, this is coming from George. G- what up, George? G. Five star review titled "A Weekly Must." These guys are hilarious and awesome. I have never been so faithful to a podcast before. All week long, I look forward to my Monday morning commute when I get to listen to adventures, shenanigans, blunders, screw ups, awesomeness, ridiculousness, creativeness of all these guys. They blend together so well and feed off of each other. I love the inside jokes and quality of friendship you can actually feel when you listen. Brian the DM leads these awesome guys on amazing Fuck yeah, quests. He does manages the craziness and adventures perfectly. These guys have somehow captured perfectly what it is to hang out with friends, play games together. As a listener, you are you feel welcome and included. Great job, guys, and keep up the excellent work. Woohoo! Thank you, George. Thanks, man. Yeah. Thank you, George. Or okay. what? You? Yeah. I don't know about Brian managing us per se, but <laughs> <laughs> he, he he does well to rain. Uh, I feel like Brian face palms a lot more than we probably should. But <laughs> also, on this beer we've had. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Also, Which you make possible. Thank that's you, true. Thank you so we much, patrons. We're Speaking actually patrons. Yeah. I want to thank Tarkin Davis, the yeah. ghost of Fucking Timmy. Tarkin. Yeah. <laughs> ghost Bro. of Timmy the Mew. Jonathan Duchak. Duchak. Jared Swafford and Woo-hoo. Brianne Iverson for your Woo-hoo. patronage. Thank you very much. You hey. guys are awesome. And also, it's uh, the last couple of days to sign up for our Norse Foundry Dice Giveaway. Follow the link. There's some sweet, awesome metal dice. Uh, we got like four days left to sign up for that. So, to so do it. So, you can Le- win these. Legit. They feel so good, guys. Just, I mean, yeah. just, listen no. to th- just listen to this. Just. Look, mm. that that's thump, some heavy metal. Oh, no, no, that, no, no. Just I'm just saying. You know, wow. George, I was going to make a joke, especially for you, but these guys wouldn't shut their freaking mouths for two seconds, and now it's too late. Sorry, George. <laughs> Blake just screwed you next over, time, George. <laughs> Bars and no balls. No balls. Sincerely, thank you, everybody. Yeah, everybody. Seriously, thanks for listening, guys. Thanks, and, guys. Um, yeah. yeah. And everything. Well, we stand here in a row. Looking like a bunch of heroes I know that deep inside 
nothing more but a bunch of zeros. Yeah!